about eight years old. I just went to the Civil Rights Museum with my dad that day and it was cold outside. So we stood in line all day, all day, for about two hours to get in and then we went through the tour. And as we were leaving that evening, she was a little hungry, so we stopped. And the people who work there, they refused to serve this homeless man. It made me angry to know that they wouldn't treat him with the respect he deserved because he was homeless. Sarah went ballistic. I said, well, then do something about it. Do something about it. What are you going to do about it? Sarah's whole project started in January of 2016. We were watching a basketball game. And they were advertising about Kobe Bryant doing this. He was on his farewell tour. And his final game was going to be against the Grizzlies. So she said, I'm going to write Kobe. And she did. She said, I wrote a letter to the Lakers. And a week later, they called and said, yeah, you can do it. We met with him for about 30 minutes. So Kobe said, well, there's a little guy at St. Jude who's been writing me. And I tried to go see him today, but he was too sick and we couldn't see him. And I was sitting in the principal's office. This was that next morning after the game. And she came in and told the principal, we got to do something for Seth. And so she said, well, what do y'all want to do for Seth? She said, we're going to raise some money for his family. In eight school days, they raised $2,640. And so that's how she really got started. Uh, to be a Jew is to not make the world more Jewish. The mission of the Jew is to make the world more human. And so Sarah, what makes her such a model Jew is that she says little, but she does much. Sarah's Hope Project, it raises money for people in need. She chooses different things that she wants to do every year for. She bought 17 student desks through the UNICEF Kind Fund, one for each one of the students and teachers killed at Parkland High School. And then of course it'll be Jeans for Self, which is the same Jew piece, Shoes for Kids, and also she chose the uh, Memphis Child Advocacy Center as the other four, because she always does four different organizations every year. Sarah's Keeper of the Dream and the other co-recipients of that award are living examples of how King has not died if we carry on his message. It's about seeing a need and taking positive actions to improve our communities and to stand up for what is right. That's the beauty of the Keeper of the Dream Award. Her hard work is, is being rewarded. Uh, she's, a, she's a shy kid, she's a quiet kid, uh, and she's not seeking that attention. So just for her to be honored is a great thing, uh, something that we're proud of. Her as Germantown Middle, you know, the light that she shines on this school just from her success. It's not really about like becoming recognized and that people know who you are. It's about the things that you're doing. Sarah is humble which means in Judaism, in her faith, not thinking little of yourself, but being aware of realities greater than yourself. Like everybody says, you know, if you got a big family, you got one rotten egg out of the bunch. Well, I didn't have any rotten eggs, I just had this one egg that just continued to grow, you know, and she just has this bleeding heart. Sarah has heart. Germantown Middle has heart. I have heart. And we are. We are. We are 901.